Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. Everyone calls me B. I um, do videos that are planner related and organization and lifestyle and things like that. Um, several years ago, I had a YouTube channel. It was called Sundays with B and I did all things planner related on there as well. And after a while, I ended up just deleting my entire channel but I decided to have a fresh start and start up a YouTube channel again so I can chit chat about all things planners because I just absolutely love planners and planning and organization and inserts and paper and pens and everything stationary. So I figured I would go ahead and start a new YouTube channel. So um, thanks for clicking, thanks for watching. Go ahead and like and subscribe. And um, today we're gonna do a flip through of my pocket rings planner. And before I get into this, a quick little backstory. I have been a planner lover since I was a kid. I've always loved stationery. And in school, when we got those little spiral bound planners from our schools, I used to pencil in appointments and everything and fold my pages all cool and add stickers and color code. I used to do it all. It was just, I loved it so much. So, um, you know, all through the years I have stuck with planning and I've always had a paper planner. And even when I also digitally plan, I still paper plan as well. I basically call this my brain in a binder. I reference it all the time. Um, but I also do use things digitally in addition to this. So, um, I have had every single planner you could imagine. I've tried so many different brands and so many different systems as far as the mechanism inside. Um, I have tried Traveler's Notebook style, I've tried ring bound, I've tried disc bound, I've tried just, you know, like uh, hard book bounds. I have tried so many different brands of covers and binders and planners from Filofax to Foxy Fix, Chic Sparrow, Kiki K, Erin Condren, Moderm, Hobonichi, um, everything. I just love trying planners and, but when it comes down to it, my system as far as how I plan has always been relatively the same. I'm a very functional planner and I like things to just be clear and being able to get things done. I at one point did try what everybody calls pretty planning. Um, I used to call it functionally pretty because I was trying to add in stickers and some extra tidbits and washi tape and as pretty as it looked and I love watching others videos where they show that, I just couldn't stick with that because at the end of the day my brain functions a certain way when it comes to my planning methods. So. Basically, I have come to realize over many, many, many years that what works best for me is a ring bound planner. And within a ring bound planner, and I will show you, I slit the papers so I can have easy access to take them out, to write on them and put them back in. Um, much like a disc bound planner, which I have also tried. Um, I liked how easy you can take things out, but I just love ring bound. I love all the inserts. I just absolutely love getting new inserts and trying new inserts out. And um, I keep it really simple, pen and paper, some highlighters, and every once in a while, a couple sticky dots. Um, that is pretty much how I plan. So I'm gonna go ahead and do a flip through of this. This is my Moterm Pocket Planner. It's an A7 size and it's ring bound. I got this from Amazon. It's a leather planner and it's in the light gray color. I absolutely love it. I have been in pocket size several different times, um, but I just realized that right now in my life uh, with what I have going on and how things are right now in the world that pocket size is working great for me and it's ring bound, so I just absolutely love it. So let's get into this. I will stop blabbing. So this is the light gray color, like I said, which I love. I love neutral colors. And I also have this in the blush pink. And I was hoping that when I got it, it would be more of a nude pink, but it was a little bit on the pinkish 
more pinkish side so I'm actually not going to use it I'm going to send it back so let's go ahead and jump inside here I do have a few things inside covered with sticky notes for privacy reasons like all of my pictures that are in here um, so let's get started so the side here has a little pocket and I really love how they included the little leather flap here to help protect um, anything that's over here from the zipper pressing up against it and inside here I just keep some stamps some extra sticky dots um, a picture with some contacts on the back of it and some address labels and then let's flip to the back in the very back there's some card slots and this does come with the leather fly leaf that also has additional card slots but I don't use it because I still use my card holder as a wallet so I didn't need that in here but if ever I wanted to use this as a wallet I could add that fly leaf right in here and have more slots for my cards so in the very back I just have a um, business card uh, this is to a shop at the beach that we go to and then I have these two um, cards here with some sticky dots on them that I made I just cut this like plastic down to size and I just took my sticky dots which I have right here on a big roll I get these from Amazon I will link them below and I just take some colors and I just put them on here so if ever I need a sticky dot they're back there um, and then these little charms right down here. Everybody calls me B, so I have the letter B here. And I have a bumblebee, which I just love, so cute. And I believe I got these both from Michaels a really long time ago. I just hook them to the ring and they stay in there perfect. There's also another back pocket here and I just have a receipt in there. And then this is like one of my favorite parts of this planner is the very big wide back pocket which is great for if you're using this as a wallet to keep cash in, or you can do like a budget system with the um, money folders in the back. So in the back here, I just like to keep any important papers that are large that I need to fit in there and like things for my doctor if I have to go to a specialist about something. So I just keep that all back there. Um, and now getting into the actual flip. Okay, starting from the front here, I just have a photo of me and my daughter, one of my favorite pictures, and I just laminated it with my laminator and put it here. And like I said, I just have sticky notes over top of our photos through here for privacy reasons. And I hole punched it and put it in. This is a card that came in a cloth and paper order I got a little while ago, and I just cut it to fit. It used to be in my disc bound, which um, I just wasn't a fan of disc bound. I loved the idea of it, but it just didn't work for me. So I recut it and I just put some paper behind it so it didn't look like holes through it. I kind of matched it to the colors on here. And on the back here, I use this graphic, which is a free printable from Lix, L-I-X-X -X, on Instagram. And you'll see I use this graphic a few times on the back of things just so they weren't blank. And I just laminated that and popped it in the front here. Um, then I have another photo. It's me, my husband, and my daughter. And I just have that covered up. And then this little note to self card is from cloth and paper as well. And then I also have, um, you can't really see because the picture's on top, but this says iconic. And it's a graphic that I got off of Etsy from btb paper studio and i love it it's like this blush nude color and i just printed that put this note to self card on it and again i did the licks graphic on the back and laminated it and then i just taped a picture of me my husband and my daughter to it and then going into my first section which is agenda i made all of my dividers i use a vellum and I just cut it down to size and then I laminate it and then recut it again so that it has a little bit of an edge. And I just made some with side tabs and top tabs. And if anybody's interested, I can always do a video showing how I make them. If uh, you'd like, just like this video and leave a comment below and I'd be happy to do that. So they're nice and thin, which I like, which helps give more room for your inserts. So this first one, and I also labeled them with, I just took like a big sheet of sticky paper and I ran it through my printer with a bunch of different words typed on it that I thought I would use in my planner and then I just cut them down to size. So this is my agenda section 
and then I have some subsections in here. Right behind that, I have an image, a picture of my husband and I on a trip to the city for our anniversary. And then behind there, I have a picture of my daughter and our sweet little cat. So I just keep those there. I have this Louis Vuitton printed on my vellum. And this image I got from Google, just saved it and printed it out. And um, yeah, it just turned out great and I love it. I love Louis Vuitton. Then I just have a table of contents, which I made on Canva, which I really have to remake because I sized it the wrong way. So that's just there for kind of an overview. Next after that, I have another piece of vellum and it just has a, if lost, please return to, and it has my name and my email address on there. And then I have another vellum and I actually laminated this one. It's a graphic I found on Google a long time ago. It's Ricky and Lucy. I'm a huge fan of the show I Love Lucy ever since I was a baby. And so I just have them in here because it just makes me happy. Then my first sub tab um, is my inbox up here. I have a top tab. And in here I'm just using a Peanuts Planner Coat insert. It's the um, categorized tasks, I think. Categorized list, maybe. Uh, I will link her inserts down below, her website down below, so you can check out her inserts. She has awesome inserts. Um, so that's what I use. And I just basically keep a running brain dump here, and then I just have little things up here that say task, migrate, or research to kind of just give me an overview quickly of tasks I could do quickly if I have to migrate it to somewhere else in my planner or if I have to take the time to research more into it. And I just have an extra sheet here for more space. And then I have a little sticky tab on this page because I reference it often. And these sticky tabs are by Post-It. They are the metallic sticky tabs and I use the white ones the most and sometimes the silver. And then they also have this nice gold. So I just put that on top and then I put one of my little um, headers on there and I just keep a running to buy list with what store I could find it at. And also while I'm here, because the paper popped out, I just wanted to show you, I do slit all of my pages here, kind of like how disc bound is, so that I can easily take them in and out. It is less wear and tear on your rings, and it's just very quick and easy. Then the next uh, subsection is my schedule. I have another Louis Vuitton vellum. I usually don't repeat my vellums much through here, but I just love Louis Vuitton so much. And then I have a perpetual calendar with families, birthdays, and anniversaries that I typed up and printed out. And then this, I just have a month on two pages. This is also from Peanuts Planner Co. And I put any appointments on here and our work schedules. And this comes blank. She also does offer dated versions, but I got the blank versions because what I like to do is I start my year off in August and go through July kind of like an academic calendar because ever since my daughter, who is turning five this week, um, started school, I like to go with the school year. So that is why it's kind of a fresh calendar right now. Usually it's very filled in. Um, and I actually do the month on one page a lot which I don't have here in front of me right now, but I like to do that a lot. But because of right now with everything going on in the world um, with this pandemic, my schedule has been kind of all over the place as far as work. I don't have my steady hours like I usually do just because of how things are going. So I needed a little more space to write that in, which is why I have the month on two pages. And um, yeah, I just highlight here the day and everything. I highlight in yellow with my gold mild liner any important um, appointments so that I can see them easily. And I have, like I said, up through July in here. And then this is another one from Peanuts Planner Co. It's the recurring tasks insert. And I started it August to July to follow what my monthly does. And it's just some tasks that I have to do each month or every few months so that I can kind of keep track. Then I have a little sticky on here for my guide. This is another Peanuts Planner Coat insert and it's actually supposed to be double-sided with a daily 
on one side, but I just did this Lix graphic because I wasn't using that side. And on this side, I kind of just made it my own. I whited out what she had at the top. It was for a planning routine. This I made daily, weekly, monthly, and yearly, just random things that I have to remember and reference. So I just have that there for quick access. Then right here, I have another pull out by Peanuts Planner Co. And it is the monthly boxes. And I have July 2021 to June 2022 to kind of follow through with um, the next year academically. So if I have any future appointments, I can jot them down there or anything I have to remember, like car inspection or just anything like that. So that when I transfer into my monthly, I can put all that info in there. My next tab is my currently tab. And this is basically like what would be my weekly and daily and current projects, anything that I need to be focused on right now, I keep in this section. So when I come in my planner, this is basically where I need to go. So um, I have a top tab here, but I also have current on a bottom sticky one so it can go to the exact page that I'm on. This let's do this graphic I printed on vellum and this was from the planner spot. It was a freebie on her website, which I'll link below. I love it. And I'm using these task management um, tracking pages from Peanuts Planner Co to kind of map out my week. So basically I just write what week it is at the top. I've been using the top section for appointments for the week and anything timed or events, the second section for my top priorities, the last three sections for just a running task list to do for that week. And on the back as well, I just have the following week. Um, and then here's a project that I'm working on. It's my daughter's fifth birthday coming up. So I just have um, things about her party on that project planner. And this project planner insert is from, let me see, it's called J.I. Design Studio on Etsy. She sells this in a bundle and uh, I just love the, the look of it. They're very minimalistic and they work great for me. Then I just have this running to-do list here for things for uh, my daughter's little party that we're doing. Um, it's a very small get together due to what's going on right now. Just a few family members coming over. And this insert came from Etsy from a shop called Think Thank K. Think Thank A. I'm not quite sure how she pronounces it, um, but I'll leave it down below. And then I just have some upcoming weeks in here. And um, vacation is coming up soon, so I just have a vacation, things I need to remember to bring on vacation. And then I have another subsection. Uh, for my daughter, so it's everything that has to do with my daughter in here, and I keep, um, this is a small monthly overview, and I just keep a babysit schedule, so days that certain family members are watching her while I'm at work or anything, I just keep on here to reference, and then I have one for each month, so I just have a couple months worth in here, and then this is um, her school, so school didn't start yet, and we're still figuring out what we're doing so her school info is going to go on here but inside here i used a yearly tracker and this is also from ji design studio on etsy and i changed it to go with the academic year because it went january through december so i changed it july through june and i basically just have a little key here and the days that there are definitely no school and half days i just color coded for quick reference to see and since we're doing some virtual learning this year, I put V's in the boxes where we're doing virtual days. And then after that, I just have a blank list here so I can write out school supplies that I need to get. I have a ask at um, my daughter's next appointment questions page there. And this is just some grid paper from Peanuts Planner Co. And then my next section is work. So just anything that pertains to work. This I printed on vellum and this graphic, it's some line art and I love line art. I think I found this on Google. I honestly cannot remember where this came from. I've had it for a very long time. I've actually cut it down several times because it's gone from like an A5 planner 
and half letter size all the way down to personal size pocket size so it's been cut down a few times so i don't remember where i got that and then i just have a work inbox here the same kind of way that i'm doing my personal inbox except i'm having high level low level and task as the little categories to kind of reference things then i just have daily reminders um, a project i'm working on another project and some notes and then my next section is notes and lists and this again louis vuitton vellum and then i just have things i want to research um, ways to be more productive my favorite productivity supplies and where i can find them um, some of my favorite shops which i really need to fill in because there's a ton more a um, surgery bill that i'm just referencing brain dump list more brain dump more brain dump and then i have some blank sheets so this brain dump came from ji design studio and etsy this was also part of one of the bundles that i bought and here's just some blank paper for any notes that i need to take then next is my project section and this is basically future projects if i have a current project i put it up in my current section so i'm focused on it right now um, but if it's something that i'm just not yet at or doing i um, keep it in here this is that lix graphic i have it printed on vellum here and then i just have some project planners in here and this project planner page is ji design studio on etsy this project planner page is peanuts planner co and then i have a goals tracker ji design studios and um yep i just keep a couple extras in there and those will fill up soon then i have a reference section just things that I might need to see. This is another line art graphic that I don't know exactly where it came from. I think it was Google, um, but it's another one that's been in my stash for a long time, so I don't remember where it came. And I just have two sheets in here. I haven't really had the chance to read over them, but I want to, so I stuck it in my reference. And it's a planning system overview. And I just thought I could reference that for things that I may not have thought of. And the Get Things Done Method by David Allen breakdown here. And these are both free printables from Systematic Maddie. And I love them. I love that she used like this nude color with the black and white. It looks really good. My next section is um, Canva and it has its own tab because I reference it so much. I do a lot on Canva as far as some graphic designing um, for social media for my work and things that I like to just add into my planner and things that I like to have fun with and I also do like my daughter's birthday invites on them and I just love Canva if you haven't been on Canva you need to check it out um, then I just have a little reference of Disney to see kind of how much it would cost to go to Disney one day and a highlight swatches page. I use mild liners and Tombows. Everyone in the planner community probably already knows about these. Um, I absolutely love them. I've been using mild liners for a long time and these are the two colors that I use. I use the gold yellow for appointments on my monthly. Pretty much that's it. The gray I use a ton and I actually buy these in bulk from Amazon. I buy like the 10 pack of gray and then I have some Tombos. I have the whole portrait set maybe with all the skin tones in it. And these are two of my favorites. They're just kind of like nude colors. And then after that, I have a miscellaneous section. And this here is the bold vellum. This is from cloth and paper. It used to be personal size back when I got it. And I have cut it down many times and uh, at one point I had it in my mini planner which the papers are this size in the mini planner so I no longer use that planner well I do use it I use it for passwords and addresses to reference and that just stays in a different section on my desk but it's just so cute so I just hole punched it and popped it in here and I laminated it this also came with my order from cloth and paper it was in my disc bound as well and I accidentally punched it funny and 
it went over the H for the word head and now it looks like it says dead and it kind of really bothers me but I just laminated it and hole punched it and popped it in here and I just keep some extra tabs on the back here with labels, Project YouTube um, because right now I actually have my YouTube page out with my key notes to point out in my videos so that's why that's not on there. And then I keep a bunch of blank inserts. So this is the task, a uh, categorized task insert from Peanuts Planner Co. My task management ones from Peanuts Planner Co. This is also Peanuts Planner Co. The large list one from Peanuts Planner Co. This one is from Etsy from Think Thank K. It's spelled T-H-I-N-K, T-H-A-N-K-A-Y. So I'm not sure how she pronounces it, but this is the, the uh, checklist. Peanuts Planner Co. checklist, Peanuts Planner Co. today, and this is the monthly, small monthly on one page, and this is from Think Think K. I also have the bigger version where most of the paper is the month on one page and the bottom just has a few lines for important dates. Um, I also have a bunch more inserts that I use and I love to try new inserts out. So these are just what I have in here right now. I have a picture of my daughter and my husband here. This little graphic has been floating around in my stash for so many years. I cannot even tell you how many years, probably at least six or seven years. I've had this little graphic. I have no idea where she came from. It's something I printed and had in like an old Hobonichi and she was still floating around in my stash. So I just put her in here because I just love her little sunglasses. This, which I just love, my daughter made me this little butterfly to put in my planner. So I laminated it and just popped it in here. And this is a Filofax. Is this by Filofax? I think so. Yeah, Filofax. Um, business card holder, little top loading type thing. So it has two card holders on this side and two card holders on this side. And these two cards here are also very old from cloth and paper, and I've laminated them. It's the Simplicity um, cards here. So these are actually kind of hard to get in here once you have more stuff in there. So that was the flip through, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you like and subscribe and come back for more videos. I will be doing a more in-depth planning system routine type video where I go over how I plan and the system that has been working for me for many, many, many years. And um, I'll also have some more upcoming videos, planner related, that um, I'm really excited about. So I hope you guys stay tuned for that and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye!